you two are as close as can be Whether I'm trying to climb up a tree Or sitting down with you for tea We're dancing We're dancing Sometimes we go for a long stroll ride Or in the playground I can go down the slide It doesn't really matter the things that we do All that matters is just me and you we're dancing, we're dancing. My ballerina and me, we two are as close as can be. So thanks for stopping over to come and see. My ballerina, my ballerina, my ballerina and me. Hi everybody and welcome to the adventures of my ballerina and me. Today's blast from the past is from when I started my school in Binghamton, New York. It was called the Carousel City Youth Ballet. In this video clip, I was 17 years old and put together a show that was going to premiere in Carnegie Hall. This is a rehearsal for a ballet based on the life of Anna Pavlova. I hope you enjoy this rehearsal clip. What a wonderful group of students, dancers, and artists who all helped put this production together. I'm pleased to say many of us have kept in close contact to this day. Enjoy. Even at that age, Anna knew that she had to be a dancer. 
She loved her mother very much, but she loved the ballet even more. What's missing?
little excerpt is from the ballet Specter of a Rose, and the choreography is by Michael Fokin. It's about a young girl coming home from her first ball, and she has a dream, kind of an illusion, of the rose. I hope you enjoy it. The great male dancer is Michael Lambiazzi, one of my favorite partners.
third class, I was a little bit nervous. But I noticed, even though it was in a different country, it's still in French. And all the steps were the same as how I did at the New American Youth Ballet. With the cambre, she wanted us to have a very straight back. for port de bras in the center floor. Port de bras means the carriage of the arms. After center, the dancers worked across the floor. The final combination is the reverence. This is to show the respect to the teacher with two curtsies on both sides. We were so excited to meet Miss Lorena again. This time she came to New York City. Guess where we met her? Steps on Broadway. She taught me how to tie castanets and even play them. And it's, an, uh, it's a town in Barcelona called Badalona. And you teach classical Spanish dance, ballet? We do uh, classical Spanish dance, we do Escuela Bolera. Escuela Bolera is a, a variation of the dance, uh, Spanish dance. Uh, bolera is with the castanets and it's a classical uh, technique. Okay, it's with uh, classical shoes. And it's a very typical in Spain. It's a very oldest uh, style. And we do also flamenco, and we do classical, also jazz and modern hip hop. But our school is a specialist in uh, classical Spanish dance and classical. And you're here in New York to, to study with the, the Bolshoi Teachers Training Program? Yeah, we, we are, uh, I'm doing the second level in the Bolshoi program teacher certification. Uh, past year I did, I did the first level in New York, now I'm here and I'm trying to make the second level. And I hope to be here the next time to make the third level. Yes, well, thank yes. you so much. Thanks we a hope lot. to visit you in Spain the next time. Thanks, thanks a lot. I've been really grateful that my Aunt Marita introduced us to her. I hope the next time you go in Spain you meet her. Bye! Hi everybody, hope you enjoyed Camila's Corner this week and our visit to this beautiful school in Barcelona. Speaking of Barcelona, please join us by sending them our love and our support. We need you to support and make a one minute video tribute telling what this city and its wonderful people mean to you. You may even see yourself on our next episode, so please. Send a video to New American Youth Ballet at yahoo.com. Look forward to seeing your video. Bye!
music. Hi everyone, this is my good friend Saffron Chung. I first met Saffron when studying at Juilliard. She's an incredible pianist, and here she is playing a little excerpt from La Boheme for Camila and Miguel, and all of you. I hope you enjoy it, and you'll probably hear her playing in one of our live performances. Okay. And what do you Thanks and enjoy her visit. Oh, this is Boheme. Oh, wonderful. Opening scene of the Boheme. Yeah, and the most famous opera. You know what the Boheme is about? No, that I will tell you later. Okay, let me see if I can do this. and this one has good children's chorus part. You should all look at it someday, you know? Get okay. in the orchestra, you know, the, um, ooh, maybe that's what you can do. You sing? Do you sing? Do you uh, sing? I sing. Okay. You know, okay. Metropolitan. Well, I was gonna sing too. I told my mom, maybe I should sing. Okay, maybe a year older. <laughs> yeah, you need to wait a bit. But um, there's a, um, you know how, um, oh, this is a secret, Metropolitan Opera, you know where that is, right yeah. next to Juilliard, right? They have children's chorus, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you need to be able to how to read music. Mm -hmm. But, but, I don't have in order to it. audition, you have to audition in order to work there, right? Yeah. And you audition, you sing happy birthday. Really? That's happy. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's the audition requirement. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you sing happy birthday. But Wait. you need to sing happy birthday well, but you need to sing happy Wait, birthday. How do you sing it? Like how do you happy sing Happy birthday it? to you. You know that song. Yeah, but like um In front of people. Yeah, but like how are you supposed to sing it? Like, you you need to sing in tune with the correct words and correct rhythm and correct notes. What do you mean how you sing it? That's how you <laughs> sing it. Like Just like you sing anything else, you need to sing happy birthday. And what is a typical work day like for you? You oh, accompany goodness. singers, what, what so is your work like? My typical work day, I don't have typical work day. That's my typical day. So I have different schedule every day. And different singers call me each day, each week, asking for different kinds of requests. Either anything from playing their auditions, to playing their lessons, to have a coach with me, to um, study a role together. So it, it's, it really varies, it really varies. And for example, today I have you guys, mm -hmm. and I had Mama singing for me today. And also before that, I had this um, great Korean tenor came in and he was studying to go sing in Korea, a Russian opera. That. So opera singers have to sing in many different languages. That's correct. Are you wishing to get in the studio, on the stage, or behind the camera with us? Well, you can. Just email newamericanyouth at yahoo.com to join the fun. Can't wait for you to dance with us. Tune in every other Sunday for more of the adventures of my ballerina and me. See you next time.